So hello everyone. Um, I am Kavita Soni. Today I am gonna tell you that how to use snippets for your competitive programming uh, when you are doing contests and all. As you know, you uh, if when you use C plus plus you can't define every you can't give it a language and always write hashtag include iOS stream or something like that. So we'll use a snippet for that. Like I can give you an example. This is my snippet. As you can see, I have initialized the language, create a file, and then I will give us I will just solve. Um, I made some functions here. Uh, I guess I'll just tell you some basic one. Uh, yeah. So here you can see you have to go to snippet generator.app. Here, this is a code. You have to write up the code here. Like uh, here, I have first of all, of course, yeah. Here, I have defined a term LL that would define long, long. So, whenever I have to use long, long in there, I will use LL. Like here, uh, word solve a function. Here, I can write something like return x or something like that. Return x, anything that I want to write in my snippet. Here and another main function where I have initialize a, an integer and run a for loop for it. I guess this this basic snippet would be useful for problems like this where we have to we are, we are given with number of test cases. So with that I guess this would be useful. So I'll just write for When number of test cases are given. Number of test cases given. Yeah. So for test cases, let uh, tab trigger you have to write it like that. Uh, the word when where you want to imply this snippet, like for uh, here, my tab trigger was go. Like as soon as I wrote go, the my snippet just came. So you have to write a tab trigger for that. Let me just write testify, for example. So yeah, uh, I've got this code, which we have to use for yeah, VS Code. So I'll just go back to VS Code. Yeah, um, here I'll create a new file, just a language. C++ code. Yeah, uh, yeah, in VS Code, go to settings. Here at the bottom left corner. Here you can find user snippets or configure user snippets. Go new global snippets. I have to write uh, testify name of that snippet. Yeah, yeah. Inside this curly braces, just copy this and here can paste. So I have used it. Uh, yeah. As you can see, so we sure no problem. Yeah. So here I've used it, and I'll save it. After saving, uh, whenever I need this, I'll just write here. It just took. So I can use this whenever I want. Like for this type of problem where number of test cases are involved. You can create several snippets for your competitive programming journey, like for any any problems you want to solve. This will help you solve a problem under under a given time or increase your speed. Like in this problem, you can create a several uh, one more snippet where uh, there is no input of number of test cases. You can just remove it. This, remove this, this one. I'll just write solve. Here, this will just call this function. So there would be no, or you can here input here. So this would be beneficial for this type of problems where only one input is integer. There is no number of test cases in a in one test case. So yeah. Thanks for watching. So, that's it.